Hi guys, AT Dap here and welcome to this episode of Comment of the Week. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this episode of Comment of the Week and it's a bit of a positive and a bit of a negative so let's start on the downer and get this comment out of the way. So, not telling you what video it's from, not telling you who's put it because I don't want to sound like I'm singling this individual out but the comment reads people talking into handheld cameras in public places look pathetic who are they trying to impress so I just wanted to address this a little bit um, since the comment was put on been thinking about it a little bit and to be fair I'm not trying to impress anybody uh, what I'm doing is trying to get my club that I love, I love going to watch them, trying to get them a little bit more exposure because in the lower leagues I don't think we get enough exposure. Um, I would love to still be videoing match footage, I think I used to enjoy re-watching and reliving the games more with match footage but I do still enjoy watching the crowd reactions that we're capturing now in the match day vlogs and I think that's not captured anywhere else in mainstream media so you're entitled to your own opinion you may think people look pathetic who are doing vlogs in public places but for me the positive feedback from all of you guys or the majority of you guys much outweighs the negative so uh, yeah this individual can keep his opinion to himself I'll continue creating content as long as you guys are wanting to watch it and to be fair I'm not forcing you to watch these videos, if you don't like it, don't watch it, it is as simple as that. I don't have a look at what hobbies or anything that you enjoy doing, I don't put you down, so I'd appreciate exactly the same. This channel is a forum for fans of every club to have their say about their club, how it's run, what they're thinking. But when it comes to comments like this, don't have the time of day for it. So, well done. You've got into comment of the week, but it's more to say, keep your opinion to yourself. There we go. And now on to the more positive one. Dean Botterill on the Bristol Rovers match preview. He says, spot on again, Shaggy. I'm going 2-1 also. Unfortunately, if Ennis doesn't start, I believe we will get beat. His question is, if you could ask the board one question... What would it be? Dean's question would be has any team got promotion from playing a team or half a team of loanees? I'm not sure. I don't know the answer to that one. Um, looking forward to the match uh, the match blog Saturday night as I'm on nights. Please be one to cheer me up. Luckily it was a fantastic result, fantastic performance. So I hope you enjoyed the match day vlog. Um, and question, what question would I ask the board? Um, when's the Bolton away game going to re be replayed maybe uh, no on a serious note I think the question that I'd ask our board is seriously what what end goal do they see or how far can they see them taking Doncaster Rovers so we hear a lot about a sustainable championship club and then for me I like the way that they run the club, um, I like the way that it's run as a business, I think it's a secure club to be watching but sometimes it just feels like there's a, a little bit of a lack of ambition especially with fetching so many loanees in or short term contracts and things like that. Don't get me wrong, if, if it's working for the finances and the, the club as a whole and it's sending it in the right direction, I'm all for it, I'll support it. Just sometimes what they say and what they do doesn't quite marry up. So I'd quite like to know, do they see us as, as, as a sustainable championship club? There was a five-year plan, whereabouts are we in that plan? And once we get to that end goal, do they, do they see any further development in that? Or will that be the time where they say, we've taken this club as far as we can and pass it on to somebody else? So I'd like to get a couple of answers to those questions. I hope that's answered your question, Dean. Thank you for the comment. Um, and once again, to each and every single one of you, 
thanks for all the positive feedback it does not go unnoticed I really appreciate it it does keep me going to create content for you guys as long as you're enjoying it I will continue creating so a big thank you to each and every one of you thanks for watching this video if you've enjoyed it big thumbs up for us please comment in the section down below um, Again, ask me questions. Uh, if you want to ask Vicky a question, she could feature on this video. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.